I'm here today to show you how to make an inexpensive and very effective printing board. This is part of my best practices series, of which there are several on cleaning irons, pinning fabric so that it stays nice and taut. This is just another one and it's pretty much a quickie, but it's really worth knowing and I, I know it'll be valuable. So, what I have here, I hope you can see through the cover that I put on it, is a ceiling panel. It's called an acoustical tile ceiling panel and it's very light. It's the stuff, it's the panels they put up in those drop ceilings that are kind of a real lightweight metal framework that hangs down like, it, well, you know, like a drop ceiling. That's what it is. They're about uh, maybe $22 a piece, maybe even a little bit cheaper than that. And they're a great size because they're two feet by four feet. And actually, you can buy little folding tables that are two feet by four feet. So it's the perfect combination for a small printing surface that you can move around on your own and set up if you live somewhere where you can't leave it out all the time. So um, Zenner will probably post a picture of the kind of table that this goes on. But in the meantime, let me walk you through how I made it. So I have the acoustical tile panel, and I have white felt. You could make it gray, like the felt I put on my printing table, or you can make it white, you could make it black. Uh, I guess I used white because I wanted it in my classroom. Everybody has one, and I wanted them all to look nice and clean, and so I bought white. This is only one layer of white felt, and I cut the white felt slightly larger than the acoustical panel, and I laid the felt out, and then I put the panel down on it, like that and I folded the felt onto it. You can sort of see, I hope, that there's about that much, what is that, maybe three inches of felt pulled around to the back. And then I used a staple gun, a handheld staple gun, to staple all of the, to staple the felt down. And I did it basically kind of like wrapping a package. I just did this side and then I did the opposite side and then I folded in this end and I folded in that end, you can see I sort of mitered, maybe you can see it, I sort of mitered the corner here to make it clean on the outside. And those staples were enough to hold the felt to the acoustical panel. I could have stopped there, but then I decided that I wanted to add one more component, and the component that I added is iron-on interfacing, fusible interfacing. And that's this lighter white piece that you see so I cut it so that it was slightly smaller than the acoustical panel, but large enough to cover the, the, where the felt had been turned to the back. And because it's iron-on, it's fabulous, so I could just put it down where I wanted it and then put the iron on it. I could do a little touch-up right here. And then just give it a good shot of steam. Whoa, great iron, by the way. Uh, so I just ironed it, heated it up, ironed it to the panel, ironed it to the felt, so it stuck, and it made it a more finished looking backing on the panel. So I have 12 of these, and when we use them in classes, I have pieces of muslin or old sheets that are torn so we can drape the panel at the desk and that helps keep them clean longer. This one's got a few stains on it, but you know it's a studio, that's rock and roll. But you can cover it with a sheet to help keep it clean longer. And that would especially be true if you were using it in printing dye or any product that's not stable that could come back later if you got the surface wet. So, just a tip. Uh, pretty useful surface. If you're printing yardage, of course, this is gonna be too small. But for most people's purposes, this is perfect. And now I'm just going to step over to where I have the small table set up and we'll finish by showing you how perfectly it fits on the table. Okay, so here's my folding table. These are available at most big box stores for, I don't know, 30 bucks maybe. I can fold this up, it's really light. I can carry it around, I can put it in a closet, I can lean it behind a door. So if you, once again, if you've got limited space, this is a great setup because you can get your little table and then this panel without being adjusted at all fits right on top. So it's perfect.
lightweight and portable. You could work outside. And if you're thinking, well, I'm not as tall as you are, Jane, but that looks too low for me, there's an answer. And the answer is those bed lifters that you can buy also at big box stores and, oh, I don't know, I think they're pretty easy to find. I think you could Google bed lifters if you're not sure what I'm talking about. They're basically little plastic four compartment things that are used like to lift a bed up so you can put stuff under it to store. In any event, those bed lifters are really perfect for lifting this another eight or nine inches so that then it's a better height to work. So keep that in mind too. Very nice printing setup here and something anybody can do inexpensively. So I hope you'll try it.